okay so one user has been connected to the server let's uh, let's connect one another user so one more user is connected if you see two user has been connected okay now let's log in the user okay so user A is logged in let's log in user B okay user B has logged in and you can see he can see user A is already there so now he will call user A okay he is calling user A so user B is he is getting the user uh, A is getting the prompt that user B is calling you now he can accept or reject the call let's see what happens when he rejects the call okay when he rejects the call uh, this user here we are uh, logging that call has been rejected and user A is also uh, sorry user B is also getting informed that call has been rejected by user A previously this was not happening previously only we were logging the call rejected message here but now the client who is calling he is also getting the information that call has been rejected now uh, let's log in another user okay so user C has is logged in now let's see what happens when he calls user A so user A is getting the prompt that user C is calling you okay getting called and now uh, earlier we rejected the call now we will accept it so when we accept it here we are logging call accepted as well as user C is getting the info that call has been accepted so now the call is getting accepted and as well as getting rejected whenever a call uh, one user is calling another so we are we have successfully implemented our feature and you can just go to our website and you can you can check all the series related to the this tutorial at the end we have created a complete video calling app in the part 12 uh, with all the conditions applied with all the logic implemented so uh, some of the tutorials are as I told you some of the tutorials are premium if you go for the premium tutorials it will be very helpful for us and we will be supported to doing uh, for doing more of these tutorials this type of tutorials so that you can build uh, some great and awesome react native apps for your clients as well as you can submit it on app stores so thank you so much guys for watching this tutorial and stay tuned for the next part thank you